My father commanded in Poland. It's not as though he was some sort of war hero either, all right? What are you talking about? Your father, during the war. Don't you know about the war? Know what? I got a really sound Holocaust education as in keeping with the times. And I uh, found out about the Holocaust in Hebrew school and read a bunch of Holocaust books when I was... I think in my early teens, and then I went on something called the March of the Living, so I went and visited Auschwitz. Herman, what? What are you talking about? You're talking about my father. You're saying my father... I was researching for something else completely, and I came across these books of interviews with the children of Nazis. You didn't know that? He, no, he served as a troop physician in Russia. Then he was promoted to captain, went back east, served as an officer. What was so interesting about it was the context, because the interviewers in both of the books that I read were Jewish. So what was fascinating to me from a sort of theatrical perspective was what the child of the Nazi was trying to do with the interviewer who was Jewish. You know what Auschwitz is, don't you? And it was often defend their parent or express their guilt about their parent, one or the other, very strongly. SS doctors, you had to have the right temperament for it so they were careful who they sent. He wasn't in the SS. Oh. He wasn't in the SS. His, his jacket, his military jacket is Wehrmacht. He probably exchanged his SS uniform for an army jacket when the Allies were close to Berlin. That seemed like there was possibility for theatricality in that, to put one of these children of Nazis on stage and to have them speak about their parent to what they believed was a Jewish or unsympathetic audience. You're smoking in the archive. I'm sorry? You're smoking in the archive. Rudy finds himself in an almost impossible situation. He finds this Jewish woman and in the course of pursuing a dialogue with her, uh, falls in love with her. I'm sorry, you're saying that you had family who were deported to... You didn't have family who no, were... No, no, my family, no. You're German? Because the play is a, a, an attempt to speak to the post-Holocaust era, I'm talking about a, a number of things, but one of them is a legacy of guilt and sort of what we do. We have come to realize, or we have come perhaps to a, a collective realization that to do violence against people is a bad thing. And, and that's maybe, that is a, in some ways a very contemporary realization. Your mother survived the camps. We, we are a sort of guilt-ridden society in a way that perhaps we weren't. So I'm speaking about that as well, I guess. Which one? Auschwitz. And your parents during the war?